Welcome to YouTube Excel Magic Trick number 13. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my channel, then click on my college website, and you can download this workbook from 11 to 22 tricks. In this Excel trick, we're going to see how to add only certain items. Also, count only certain items. We're going to use the sum if and count if functions. Hey, but before we do that, I want to show you a cool keyboard shortcut to name ranges. Now look here, we have sales rep and sales. Highlight just those two names, field names at the top, and then control shift down arrow. That's a quick way to highlight all the data down. Now watch this, the two labels and the data below. The way to name this sales rep and this sales is to hold control shift and tap the F3 key. No way. It asks us, where are the names? Our names are only in the top. Sales rep is going to represent those, sales that. So we're going to unclick the left and click OK. If you don't believe it, highlight this range. No way. The name box says it's now sales rep. Same with this, sales. Now let's see how to do summing, adding, but only for the person your name. Hey, sales rep your name. So we want to add this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Ready? Let's click in F7 equals sum if open parentheses. Now, it's asking you for the range. That range is where the criteria is. So I'm going to highlight this. Whoa, look at that. It put the actual name in. Now I'm going to backspace through this and show you a second way to do this. If you forget what the name is and you want the list of all the names, hit the F3 key. No way. Paste names. And then I'm going to double click sales rep. Now I'm going to put a comma. The way these screen tips work is that little comma right there. If you hit it, it jumps to the next one. Criteria is bold. Now we want your name. That's the criteria. So this function knows to just find all the your name sale. Now I can't click on this H7 right here because this formula here is hanging over. It's crowding out my ability to click on H7. So guess what? In a formula then you can use your arrow keys. I'm going to hit the right arrow. One, two, and now it's got H7. You can see the H7 there and you can kind of see the dancing ants marching around there. Now I'm going to put a comma. And it's saying, hey, where are the cells we want to add? So I'm going to highlight these. Notice it put sales in. I also could have done F3 for paste name. I also could have just typed it in, sales. Boom. Now close parentheses and stop for a moment. If this function is to work, that range and that range have to have the same number of cells. That and that. If they're not the same size, it won't work. Enter. Look at that. 31,490. Now, when you first do this kind of thing, you always want to check. So I'm going to come to a different cell, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for auto sum. Alt equals. And I'm going to highlight just that one for your name. And to highlight this one down here, and it's not next to each other, I'm going to hold the Control key. Highlight those two. I'm still holding Control. I'm going to click there. I'm still holding Control. I'm going to click there and Enter. No way. It worked. This sum if worked. Now, you never want to do it that way, because for a huge set of numbers, it would take forever, and it was mistake written. So you want to use sum if. Now, let's see how to do count if. You ready? Equals count if, open parentheses, the range. I'm going to hit F3. I'm going to double click sales rep, comma, and I'm going to use my arrow key to get H8. I'm going to close parentheses. You can see the formula up there, too. Control Enter. There's the formula. Also, notice when you type in little letters for functions, they always pop up to big ones when you enter the formula. Now, there it is. There's five of them. Now, I want to try and change the name here. You'll, here's the condition, right? I want to type in chin. I highlighted both of the cells. I typed in chin in the white one. If I control enter, it puts them in both. There you go. This formula updates. So does this one. There's one, two, three, and four. Notice, here's another reason why you don't want to do it this way, because it didn't update when we changed the criteria. All right, we'll see you next Excel trick.